you London blokes and your uh, harmful gender stereotypes and advertisements. <laughs> this is coming to us from the BBC. Harmful gender stereotypes and adverts banned. A ban on adverts featuring harmful gender stereotypes or those which are likely to cause serious or widespread offense has come into force. Oh my goodness. Like, is this real life? I gotta ask sometimes, is this real life? The band covers scenarios such as a man with his feet up while a woman cleans or a woman failing to park a car. The UK's advertising watchdog introduced the band because it found some portrayals could play a part in limiting people's potential. It said it was pleased with how advertisers had responded. The new rule follows a review of gender stereotyping in adverts by the Advertising Standards Authority, ASA, the organization that administers the UK advertising codes, which cover both broadcast and non-broadcast adverts, including online and social media. Don't you have more important things to be doing? I mean, and I say this not just to the UK government, I say this to American government, to the American government at each and every level all the time. Isn't there more important shit for you to be doing? I mean, honestly, like, look, I get regulations when it comes to broadcast, when it comes to broadcasting, right? Like, but the deal is, is that when it comes to a lot, you've been so lenient so off the deep end when it comes to the sexual stuff on you know prime time and network television and now like catering things to kids that you know uh these stereotypes of which you speak i think they should be the least of your concerns i'm gonna be real with you i'm gonna be real the new rule follows a review of stereotype okay i already uh, read that Watch dog bands, gender stereotypes, and adverts. C4 offers £1 million for positive gender ads. Co op and Easter egg advert as sexism row. Okay. Okay. The ASA said the review had found evidence suggesting that harmful stereotypes could restrict the choices, aspirations, and opportunities of children, young people, and adults. And these stereotypes can be reinforced by some advertising, which plays a part in in unequal gender outcomes. Are you kidding me? Like, now y'all see why I talk about how gender is nonsense? I mean, you see why... I keep calling gender nonsense, right? Because that's all it is. It's just there to subvert biology. And it... And this is the dumbest stuff ever. Our evidence shows how harmful gender stereotypes can ad- in ads can contribute to inequality in society, which costs all of us. Simply put, we found that some portrayals in ads can, over time, play a part in play a part in limiting people's potential," said ASA chief Guy Parker. Guy Parker, you just looking for a reason to get your paycheck. That's it. Like you, 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 that's it. You are just searching for a reason to justify your pay. Let me tell you something. Advertising, like, oh my goodness, because the way advertising set up now is completely set up like then differently than it is than it was back in the day. Back in the day, you know, you only had the broadcast networks. Now we have the internet, and you know, these internet advertisers will do anything, and I mean anything to get that click. So. So, so like, oh my goodness, stereotypes, vlogger and father of two, Jim Colson uh, thinks the band is a good idea. He dislikes adverts that perpetuate stereotypes about dads being useless. And, you know, I will say that I, I, I will give them that much. Um, It's the small things, though, that build up and the small things are what inform the subconscious. He told the BBC, I, 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 I disagree. I believe our experiences uh, our personal, you know, inner life experiences. I mean, advertisement is just advertisement. Uh, it, like, like I say, like I always say, it always goes back down to good parenting and, and coming from a good home. And, you know, because like that's the good homes lay foundation. I mean, there's tons of bad homes without question, but good homes lay pretty good foundations. And that's what is uh, more necessary than anything else when it comes to 
what people can aspire to dream of or be of because you know some people just don't have the capacity to think that to 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 to, you know think that broadly or think that grand you know have grand ideas i mean there's a lot of people who are just hanger-ons you know these those are it's a real thing that people just ride other people coattails for a reason because they themselves aren't bright enough to or don't have the talent or the skill necessary, but can facilitate, you know? I mean, not everybody needs to be up front and center, but at the same time, you know, I, I, I get what they're saying as far as the, like the dad, the, the, the stereotypes with the dad and I get the stereotypes with the woman too, but it's not like that, like that, like gender stereotyping and stuff like that. I mean, dads generally are the ones who are out I mean, definitely back before our societies became more civilized, that was the one that was out busting his ass at work. So, you know, you so mom can sit at home and and take care of the kids and everything else like that. And I believe that dynamic is still necessary to this day. But sh- watch this, watch this video, get a ton of dislikes just for that. If it gets any kind of views because YouTube's a dick. Anyways, that's the problem. The adverts rely on stereotypes. We know why they do it because it's easy. But columnist Angela Epstein disagrees and thinks that society has become oversensitive. I agree with you there too. There are a lot of big things we need to fight over. Equality over pay, bullying in the workplace, domestic violence, sexual harassment. These are really big issues that we need to fight over equally. She told the BBC, but when you chuck in the fact that women are doing the dishes and advertisement it's not in the same sphere when we lump it all together and become dis- de- desensitized we devalue those important arguments we need to have lack of diversity oh my goodness uh you know i really just like can we're just gonna skip over no way way Okay, so other situations likely fall afoul of the new rule include adverts which show a man and a woman failing at a task because of their gender, like a man failing to change a nappy or a woman failing to park. Adverts aimed at new mothers, which suggest that looking good or keeping the home tidy is more important than emotional well-being. Kind of is. Adverts which belittle a man for carrying out stereotypical female, female roles. No, no, no. Uh, however, the new rules do not preclude. You know what? Hey, wait a second. I'm an American. I don't care. This is this doesn't affect me yet. Dum dum dum. Until the next one, guys. Oh wait, wait, wait. I gotta do the whole like. I mean, this is my form of e-bagging right now. When I get a if I if I'm lucky enough to get a bigger audience, I'll do grander forms of e-begging but this is my minimal e-begging right now if you enjoyed the video toss me a like if you disliked it go ahead i'm not scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice share because sharing is caring and speak let me know what do you think i mean has the <laughs> has the uk well yeah the uk is like the uk's lost it in its mind the uk lost its mind a very long time ago when they started banning knives and just like in Brexit and all these other things. And they want to sit here and talk about gender stereotypes and average band. Gender's not real, guys. Remember that until the next one.